video card drivers. Yeah. No, 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 not those drivers. Video card drivers are basically software that lets your video card react with your computer. A lot of times what happens is they may become out of date. There may be an update that's crucial that you need to download. And if you don't do that, you're going to have some problems with the game, possibly crashes, stutters. It could be a bunch of things. So in this video, you're going to want to make sure you stay tuned till the end to see every way of going through and getting this updated so you don't have any problems like that with your PC. So with that said, let's go ahead and just get right into it. So welcome everybody. As you know, Kevin Smack here. We're going to go through and teach you how to update your NVIDIA drivers. I have already done this for AMD in the past. At the end of this video, I'll link that in case you want to check out that video as well. So with that said, let's go ahead and just jump right in on this and get you going. And if you're new here and you don't know, we do tech tutorials, fixes, and gaming. So smack that subscribe button if that is for you. So what we want to do is go ahead and click down here and we're going to see the NVIDIA logo. It's the green one. We're going to right click on it and we're going to actually go to NVIDIA GeForce Experience. We'll go ahead and open that up. It'll come to the home screen and these are the games I'm currently playing or waiting to play. World of Warcraft ready for the classic to come out. I used to play it all the time so I'm really excited for that. Pretty hyped. Hype, hype. Let's go through. We're going to see drivers here. Let's go ahead and click on drivers. And here we're going to see the new drivers. So it looks like it's been about two weeks and I've been slacking, but I wanted to do this in a video. So it's good that I have an update to show you. I used to use AMD and I actually purchased a new computer because it was kind of time for me. And AMD, for me, did not run Fortnite well, no matter how well I did. And I did have an RX 588 gigabyte. So now I have a 1080 Ti. Let's go ahead and click download here. So it goes through and starts the download for me. So we're not wasting too much time. We'll fast forward this in a moment. So this is something you're going to want to go ahead and check anytime your Fortnite starts running weird, anytime it starts crashing. Basically, if it seems like your game took a turn, Fortnite may have updated some things that cause crashes, but the driving driver software probably noticed it and came out with a fix to make it run better. Like I said, NVIDIA, I think, is more on top of this than AMD, but it's always good to have them up to date. If worse comes to worse, you ever update and it doesn't help, there are ways to go through reapply the older version so you can go ahead and get it working. It is almost done, but I figured while we're waiting, let's go ahead and just take a real quick break and mention creator code kevinsmack.tv. It's a great code. You can use it in Fortnite to purchase items. It helps little to medium size me <laughs> in the YouTube space, not in real life. Real life, probably big me, but <laughs> I would really appreciate it. It would help me out. It keeps me going and so do all the views that you guys have been watching. So thank you so much. If you are running NVIDIA or AMD, let me know which graphics card you're running down below. Go ahead and comment it. I'm curious to see what you're running and are you having any problems or is it running awesome? So now we're preparing the package and now it comes to the installation. We're gonna go ahead and just choose Express. There is a chance this screen may flicker a bit because that happens during driver installs if that's the case don't worry it is normal they will also try to show you some awesome games and sell you stuff because why not while you're going through the process it's better than just looking at a line move <laughs> So basically I went through and finished it, had some problems, so my one screen's out, but you didn't really miss anything. This is basically saying you need to restart to go ahead and fix everything and get everything fresh because a reboot is required majority of the times when you do update graphic drivers. And to be honest, I would do it every time just to be safe. So we're gonna go ahead and reboot and come right back. And there we have it. We got the drivers updated. We are all set to run great keep in mind i would check your graphic drivers maybe every two to four weeks see if they need to be updated or anytime you're having any problems at all check it out 
people always ask me about these wallpapers where I get them. There's a program. It's like three bucks. It's not affiliated at all, but I did make a video on it to go ahead and show you more about it and what's available. I'll go ahead and link it up top here. Also, if you want to go ahead and check out the AMD driver update, it is different. I'll go ahead and post it right here. So go ahead and check that out and I will go ahead and see you over there.